Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming and The Last Remnant Remastered. What I've done so far is I have swapped out my Hexes unit for my Evocations. Just so they get a bit of experience as well. I also topped up my Potions. So that's all you've missed. So in today's episode... What we are going to be doing is, we are going first of all to Krupfen. And what we need here is a dragon liver, just the one. So first of all, we've got to hope that the dragons spawn, which <laughs> that's a task unto itself. And then we have to hope that we get a dragon liver, which is a rare component. So we may have to fight the dragon more than once to get it so I will do my usual thing I will save it and if I don't get it I will just reload the save and you will rejoin me when the dragons have spawned so I will see you then so there's the dragon it finally spawned and the problem with this getting the dragon liver is you have to capture the dragon and that is a low percentage I think you've got something like a, a 10 percent or something like that 15 percent chance to capture you then need the dragon liver which is a rare component which you have to get from the capture and you've got a, like something a five percent chance for it to split into the dragon liver and this is the problem with this particular Let's do this. quest. Well, not a quest, it's more of a... It's a guild task, actually. Hit them hard, hit them fast! So this can actually take you quite a long time. Come on, let's kick some A! <laughs> What's he what doing? You okay? Looks like we're up against quite the nasties. Hmm. Ah! Don't underestimate them.
That could have been a lot worse. That Vulcan Breast can wipe out everybody. So let's just do that. You can just stay on your toes this time, because I don't want you attacking like you did last time. Almost gone then. Almost. I hope I've grown stronger than before. I know I'm good. I feel stronger than I did before. And there is the dragon liver. And I will... There it is, the dragon liver. And I will be honest with you, I had to fight that dragon seven times before I captured it and then got the dragon liver, because these are normal splits. Those are like rare, and these are very rare, if they're in like purple or pink, whatever color it is. So, but we got it, that's the main thing. Jobs are good, as, <laughs> as they say. So, let us move on. So now, what we're going to do we are just going to nip, nip, yes, nip. Yes, we know. We're just going to nip back to Athlum. Top up our herbs, because we used a, a, a few. I always like to keep it topped up.
And now we are just going to nip once again into the guild. To take a look at the guild tasks. And we have some here. There's blue jaws, which we did in the last episode when we went hunting for all those rares. I think we did five. There's the Dominator. Golden Chalice, rank one. The Hellbiter. Again, we did that in the last episode, I think. Church Bell. Prometheus, another one we did. Rank two for the Golden Chalice. And see how it unlocks more guild tasks. We also did the sledgehammer. All good stuff. The ore cruncher, yes. Rank three. Each guild, by the way, has five ranks. I might have mentioned it in another uh, episode. There's our fossilized tree, which we did quite a few um, videos ago. And the uh, bind five treasure chests. And we've still got all these to go. Shamshir, we will be getting that. We don't have to make it. We will be getting that in another side quest. So don't worry about that. If you ever thought, if you've ever done this and thought, oh my God, how the hell do I get a Shamshir? Don't worry about it. You get it in a side quest. So now that we've done that, we are now going to Baluk. And we are doing Li Shao's, Li Shao's quest, however you pronounce it. This is taking on another Spirit Lord, so they will be casting Curse. And we find him here, in the pub. Here we go. <coughs> so, Li Xiao, or Li Xiao, however you pronounce it, has joined us as a guest union. And again, we have no control over him. I am going to save it, because this can be a bit tricky with us being at a low level. We are still only BR rank 11. So, all you have to do with this, this is Defeat Validus, which is a Spirit Lord type enemy all you have to do is to run forward if you want to explore this is the perfect time you can go anywhere because until you go to a certain spot it it won't start see here we go look go down the next bar do a bit of digging here if you like we might as well pick this up while we're here okay later so i'm just showing you that you can 
Go for a wander around. There is a treasure chest over there, which we got earlier, but you can come around, have a look around if you haven't done so already. And only when you come across down here will it actually begin. And here it comes. So, we know it will cast curse on the first go, so it's, I always just send one unit in and I put everybody else stay on your toes or whatever. Come on, let's kick some A. Hot enough? What's this? Oh, what are you doing? Looks like we're up against quite the nasties. Hmm. And I like to use the cure them even if it kills them. Because they've seen me do it before in a previous video. Phase Coalition will go up, kill Rush, and then resurrect them. I do that so I don't have to worry about the curse anymore. They there certainly you know. did. That could have been worse. Oh, a timely rejuvenating water there. Very timely.
have done without that. Two unions left. Oh, shit. I've got to bring them back. I hate it when my healer unit has two attack. Oh, it's acid breath as well. This could be dangerous. Oh, think you'll get away with that, do you? Okay, that's my healer unit gone. Again, a bit of a waste on just one Union, unit. So you can bring them back. You can bring those back. And you can turn it around. Just to keep it occupied. Almost, almost. Get your HP up. Yes, we'll do that. Get ready for the best move you will ever see! I knew that was going to happen because he missed on his cascade strike. I knew it. Let's clean up these fiends.
So that's Validus. Done. I feel stronger than before! There's still plenty of power left <gasps> in these old mystic bones. art. What a I feel stronger day. than I did before. Got it! Let's just... Who was it? Was it Rago who... Hope it looks all right. Yeah, it was Rago. We don't want you doing that, thank you. Let's pick this up while we're here. Come on out! Okay, Lots of later. Okay. He won't let us go straight away, so we'll just do a bit of running around. Holy show. I mean, you're still trying to catch your breath. How much time do you want? Oh, God. Nice reward there, 30,000 gold. So, if you wish, you can hire Li Xiao, Li Xiao, however you pronounce it. I'll just show you him. I have used him before but I don't think I'll be using him on this one there he is and he can use evocations or hexes whichever you prefer but it's not that well developed to be quite honest but you know if you wish to use him you can do there's Gao which I've shown you before he is an excellent unit to have and I have used him in the past but not on this occasion so let's have a recap of what we have done in this episode we got the dragon liver eventually and we went to Athlum we I think we got up to rank three of the uh, guild there and got a load of things done, a load of guild tasks done, and we've just done Li Xiao's quest. I was hoping to do Blockter's quest, 
but that's in three parts and it can be quite lengthy and this video is already over 30 minutes I think just so I'm gonna end it here if you've enjoyed this video please consider hitting the like button if you found it informative and have helped you in any way shape or form please hit that like button leave a comment good bad or indifferent I appreciate them all if you have any questions leave that in the comments and I shall do my very best to answer it for you and I hope you will join me in the next one until then thank you so much for watching it is appreciated I honestly mean that it really is so until then take care